I've already introduced you to my parents and like, oh, can't you have the hand? No. Then I'm going to shoot on my TikTok. Imagine. Oh, well, I, 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 how did you guys get to the point of, guys, how did you guys meet oh. parents? If you... Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Asking for a Friend. My name is Dennis Ngango, but on the streets, they call me HPD. Not happy birthday. But Hardway Daily. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not alone. I've got my panel. So let's meet them. Hey, yo, guys, it's your girl Seema, your fave TikToker, your fave Instagrammer, and your fave YouTuber. Let's get it. Ooh. Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Almighty Go Phoebe, and welcome to their channel. Yes, sir. Hi, guys, I'm Noma, and you've already met me. Yo, what's up guys? My name is Bongani, the proudly South African guy, a risk taker, a billionaire of a successful nation, a dreamer by night, and a dreamer by day. Period. So how the show works is that I've got my panel of the day, and we'll be unpacking scenarios submitted by our subscribers. In this episode, we're going to be talking about relationships and hustle in your early 20s. If you guys are looking forward to the conversation, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're happy to see us on your screens, make sure to comment below. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe. My girlfriend and I have been in a healthy and exciting relationship for two years. In the last year, she became popular on TikTok and has asked me to feature in videos with her, which I have respectfully declined. Recently, I got a notification from TikTok about a video she made with another man I've never seen before <laughs> with the hashtag couple goals. I confronted her about it and she said it was just for content. Yay! Break up. Ah, what? Now she's like defining, I don't know what to do. Break up. Why are we breaking up? Why are you breaking up? Hey, with another man. Break up. It's just content. You don't want to no, do content. No we didn't talk about it. No, but we didn't. You didn't Guys, tell me. If you decline, I'm going to do it with another person. But, you but she's never met that but person. But you're not before. forced to make relationship content. Guys, with TikTok. Why doesn't they have a couple goals? No. Guys, TikTok. TikTok. Listen, you're not forced to make relationship content, but relationship content goes up. She didn't tell the guy though. That's my chat. Like she yeah. didn't tell the guy. Mm. It was okay, dude. I'm gonna be posting with this person since we're not mm. But mm. still, like, still, what, 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 why is he doing he? that? Let like this is the reason behind <laughs> no. it. No, I disagree. And on top of I'm that, like, like, <laughs> what? I think what what makes it worse is the fact that she also like he also didn't recognize the guy. Mm. Like he's exactly. never seen uh, like the guy before. You buy and then I know it's couple goals. That's my question. I don't know. Okay. I guys, know. But wait, wait, wait. Listen. The relationship has been there for like two years now. Yes. Mm. If that's the case, then just like just I feel like what the guy should do. What the guy, do? right? Yeah. What? what yeah. The do? guy should just like tell the girl that like yo, I really don't like this, and delete all of that, vi all of those videos huh? we're doing. That's and look, and look, 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 yeah. That's delete, delete. It, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> delete, delete all of that, and I never want to see it again. Yo. And um, yeah, let's just keep pushing it. And, and if if it happens again, <laughs> then it's like raps. Are you my dad? Yo! I don't understand. Like, I. Gotta okay. get, get yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shop, I disrespected you as my person, yeah. but like, also, you still don't have the grounds to tell me what to do. Mm -mm. You can tell me how this made you feel, yes, but when people delete the content, no, that, that makes me no. my money. No, but that still. makes me my money. So I'm, not, I'm not standing up for her, Let's but I don't think him. that's a fair approach. TikTok. I think that he should ask her, or like, what's going on mm. so just because i said no to making content with you now all of a sudden you're just gonna go pick random people and go do whatever with them on social media how do i feel about that how do the people i know mm. think yeah. about me knowing that we've two years like we but haven't been my together sister, six but months. TikTok doesn't make it's not a talking stage that's so not you a point say, hey, the fact that she's able to get popularity off of it the fact that she's guys, able to listen. get popularity off of it and she has some kind of social capital okay uh, you have to understand that uh i think the biggest platform for collaborations is tiktok more than anything you can get a stranger in the street like literally most of the time i remember even one time i jumped on someone else's tiktok and it was at the end i literally jumped in i knew the dance i was like listen let me jump in right did they target couple goals <laughs> listen <laughs> listen you can't jump into the conclusion of saying this is like a breakup or this needs to end this thing is about communication at the end of the day why, why did she ask breakup why she didn't want to do exactly 
Ah, 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 Guys, how did you guys meet Paris? If you guys don't know that, guys, it's two years. You can't just break up. They must talk about it. He must talk about it to her and say, "Hey, I feel like this and this and this. Why are you doing this? I know it's this woman." And if she really cares, she's gonna delete it herself. So that's the thing. So that's the thing. He did try and speak to her and. After all those different types of conversations, yeah, I'm like, hey, listen, Edwin, Yo. there was no conclusion. <laughs> Tell none, break so up he side. asked her about the gent, and she said that yes, they do have a past together, but uh... he has nothing to worry about because she's saying that she's not gonna go back there. There's no way. Mm. Yeah, that's an immediate breakup. I had a funeral. I had a funeral. That's a funeral. Like honestly, that's a funeral. There if is, we've spoken about it and you're still right. not trying to hear me and you're shooting videos with your ex what? wait but then you're gonna break up with someone you've been dating for two years because of a video and a hashtag kanya there's 20 billion you don't know what happened have have we are happy with ex when we land the ex but if nothing happened we're saying two years two years is a long time but what about that person's boundaries mm. if yeah. their boundary is that don't talk to your ex and you go and you talk to your ex and then you hide it from me and i must find out on tiktok if I take you back or I'm compromising on this, I'm disrespecting my own boundary. Exactly. I am letting you do that again. So it's not about taking it deep or like uchitilo or whatever. It's just mm-hmm. we can't create a standard of disrespect mm. yeah. at okay, the yeah. base level okay. of a relationship. Facts. We cannot do that. So yeah, I got to nip it in the bud very quickly. Mm. Yeah. I've <laughs> recently exited my friend group chat due to feeling like no one understands me. I'm also fed up of their motivational quotes. <laughs> How can I handle this while still prioritizing my mental health? <laughs> Currently, I'm ghosting them to clear my head. Yeah? This speaks to me. This speaks to me. How so, Simo? I had a friend group uh. and they were very supportive. I don't want to lie. Everything I did, they were there. They were like, oh, Sima, we got you. You're doing so well, you know. But I don't want to lie. I feel like I was outgrowing them. And especially because the one friend was my best friend and she grew closer to the other girl and it's not i'm a i'm an overthinker i'm a cancer i'm sensitive to everything like mm. any little thing that it just triggers me so you know i saw how close they were growing and they they would have sleepovers and they would have all of this and i felt like you know sometimes mm. i'm always talking about business i'm always talking about this i'm always talking about like, promos and stuff and mm. to them it's just fun and they're just having fun and i felt like i felt like a lot even when we're sitting like this i just smoke my hubby and they talk about their own things and they speak the same language and I'm cause I'm just <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So it's just weird. It's just felt weird I think it's it's such a hard thing to communicate Yo. because it's also something that you didn't plan. You didn't mm. plan to be in a different space mm. than Yo. the rest of your, your it was friends. So beautiful. It was so you know, beautiful. when you make friends you're always like we're all gonna grow together. Mm. We're gonna be doing life mm. together. Yeah. And, that, and, and like it doesn't happen now. That's why like your your high school friends, like you, know, you only Everyone, have like a couple yo, now, mm, you know. Yeah. And then, like in primary school friends yeah, ah worse. even worse <laughs> yeah. even worse sometimes when you grow up i feel like it's, it's difficult seeing how your life demands different versions of friendship mm. because like the friendship you had in primary school even the way we make friends mm. is completely different in primary school you could just go sit next to someone and play with them mm. that's the best friends you're gonna go tell yeah. your mom i have a new best friend mm-hmm. but i can't do that now like if i sit next to someone I'm like girl but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going but, on? Uh, so I think because of the different demands of friendship, it also becomes difficult to move into new seasons with mm. people that you we were with. How do you tell your friends that you don't feel oh. like their friend anymore? I that's okay. the hard part. Let like, me jump in there. Ne? I'm one person. I'm very honest, ne? and mm. I think it's been my biggest problem since high school. Mina, I'm one person who's driven. Like I'm driven when it comes to all aspects of life, right? Sure. And talk if I feel talk. like you're slacking, <laughs> yeah. if I feel like you're slacking, I'll literally cut you off, and I won't feel bad about it. Mm. Like because the thing is, I know I'm one person that I empower all my friends, right? Mm. And I don't want to be in a position where now I'm succeeding, but at that point, if we started at high school, we we're borrowing each other. I'm a twenty run. If you hear, if we're borrowing each other, now it has to be like 20,000. Mm. Oh, Joe, they go by 20,000. 
Yeah, but mm. I need to be able to count on that person so that we're able to grow in the same atmosphere. It doesn't have to be in the same field, but I don't want to feel like when I'm at this position in life mm. and when you can't understand. So, um, <laughs> you can't be friends with Bongan if you don't have Tony Tower. <laughs> <laughs> If he calls you, you must be ready <laughs> <laughs> at any moment. But how how do you make sure that you you are a good friend before you just say I'm going to cut you off because you're not progressing at my level? Mm. I'm one person. I'll push you. And I want to have motives when it comes to pushing me. Mm. Consistently. Like, mm. it's one thing that, personally, if everyone would remember me, they would remember me for okay. pushing them yeah. in their career to say, I'm going to push you to become a better person. Mm. And I will make sure that I go on all avenues to make sure that, you know what? I've done this much. To a point, if I'm cutting you out, just know that I've tried every, yeah. everything. And it's not even, you guys know this personally. Like, mm. It's not even just about the financial side of it. It's also about your emotional side of it. Mm. We can't be there now in a state where we all grown. You are in a relationship, it's time for you to get married. But now you still want to play. Mm. Like I will tell you definitely, like, yo bro, it's time to Shake put the ring up, in. Yeah. Like, yeah. Don't stop playing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like a success thing also. Mm. Like, um, you know, part of like being successful is you have to surround yourself around successful people. Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? And you find someone go out, you know, you find a group of friends, you know, it's not the end of the world now mm. that you okay. um, yeah. I think she should really take the time to see her situation for what it is. Yeah. Not only in the friendship yeah. realm, but also in like the rest of her, her world as well and see mm. what's going on and be realistic about that. And yeah. if she really feels like she has the capacity to to work on those relationships then she should definitely do it mm. personally i battle with like groups mm. so i always like pinpoint one <laughs> like person one, one. Yeah. yes yeah. pinpoint the yeah. one and then try and see like you work it from there because mm. you gotta have one person of the group chat who's gonna have your back yeah that's true you, you know, know how put those plans up when you guys are fighting there with the, they need yeah. to have they need back. to have my back and yeah. you know how you they say like like if you have like a lot of friends or whatever like you just know a lot of people just take like one week don't text anyone don't do anything to see what happens you need to have discernment for yeah. who is what kind of friend mm. and at what level do you regard them because then um, that way you can avoid cutting people off and rather just putting them in the section of yeah, exactly. where they That's need true. to be you know that one you know? friend you talk to yeah. twice a year like we see each yeah. other at like Christmas so when I'm at home yeah. so it's fine I know that I'm going to text you in November when I'm prepping for December yeah. when I come home yeah. and that is our relationship That's and true. it works exactly. yes. I don't think it always needs to be that we're friends that we're talking to and we're talking mm. and that will be training exactly that will be training if I had to take 150 people yeah. every single day oh, updating exactly. them on yeah. everything, yeah. it wouldn't work. So I think, yeah, rather instead of um, cutting them off immediately, Just find see out. if you can move them to a different section of, mm. like, you know, where you regard your friends instead of best friend or like core circle. Maybe move them to acquaintance for a bit. Mm. See if you guys can rebuild, work from mm. there. And then, like, yeah, if that doesn't work and there's no benefits, no transformation, then you can think of cutting off. Yeah. yeah. What's up, Defining? I'm an ambitious 23-year-old with an incredible girlfriend and flourishing career. What was the like My only problem is that I battle with factoring in the other parts of my life, like family, friends, Eish. rest, and other hobbies. Do you guys have any tips for me? It's like the worst. Kinger, I send this one. I'm mistaken. <laughs> this is the worst. Yo, I, 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 I was saying all of this. I'm just thinking of ghost, ghost, ghost. Right? Did, did, did you send it in? Ghost? Maybe. Did you put that random the note to Dennis? Tell the truth. I'm not like you know, the most successful person or whatever. Right? <laughs> all right. I, I just want right. to say that. I want to yeah. say that, right? But guys, the most successful people in this world, and I also understand that not, not everyone wants to be like successful, mm, right? Mm. But the most successful people that make it to like the top 1%, there's no balance there. True. Mm. That's true. There's, like Abu Ronaldo, true. people that like, you know, these people play soccer 24-7, 365. Mm. You know what I mean? Abu Mr. Holidays, Beast so on this YouTube thing, these people, yes, they obsess. Yes. Yes. They obsess, they you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, so that's how it's like, dude, like this, this whole balance thing, maybe like there's just no such thing as balance. You know, I was watching All Real Housewives of Durban and Uso Risha. She was telling me, she was telling us. She was telling us, um, she does not eat dinner with her husband. Mm -hmm. Husband is or one always of working. Like Viv is always working. Nah. What if Viv is Red working on flag. oceans? 
that mall no. yeah, boy, so he's always working they don't eat dinner together so, and i'm thinking this guy is so moneyed so does it mean oh, see, there must be a sacrifice we don't we won't eat dinner together and now i'm looking at kanye like hmm uh, baby, we're, we're not gonna eat that for their uh, relationship maybe they don't have to eat dinner together they have yeah, to eat breakfast together so mm. that's what i'm saying that priorities for people are different what we consider priorities and how they look and how we navigate them like you're saying family is a priority but i mean i'm not gonna say i've seen them like in the last two months doesn't yeah. mean that i don't prioritize them you know no Just but means it does that it doesn't it does. No, it because does. the thing is i can't i can't serve them if i'm not doing these other things does that make sense like you say if there's no electricity at home and i'm home i if i don't have money to buy the electricity then like do you understand? I'm not prioritizing my family and their comfort. Mm, but that's also tricky, tricky because in some cases they require that act of service. In other cases, that may just be the love language that you love giving mm, out, and that's, that's not even true. what they're requiring from you. Here's the thing, ne? I, I, this is like something I know. I think last year a lot of people were calling me to text me that, yo, bro, like you're overworking now, ne? I think. 2022 was the best year of my life like i work with the biggest brands yeah. internationally and locally so and it was draining however the nice thing for me is that i knew that my wife was there for me mm. Mm. the first priority like in terms of everything i knew even now i think our first vacation we took it like literally i think yesterday we came back mm. and everything for me i was like i knew this is the time for me to take time off mm. but however december we couldn't do that because that was like the busiest times mm. the problem with people is that they want to do everything at the same time mm. you can't be focusing on your relationship then you want to focus on family as well mm. there's a time to say christmas time we knew that oh no this is mm. time for family this is time mm. for that mm. there's a time for you to spend time with your partner there's a time for you to spend with your friends mm. so if you can't honor that season at that moment mm. you're gonna miss the opportunity and then it's gonna be a strain and that's why people now there's a lot of people who are going through anxiety mm. it's like mm. you can't balance everything mm. but the thing is sometimes it's easy to identify what those priorities are mm. and then other times those priorities just rock up and then you have to figure it out at that moment and that's where the anxiety and other stuff comes from so i agree with you in terms mm. of yes you should prioritize things but there's also a time after the hustle where you then look back and you're proud of the hustle but you're also just like yo but i wasn't there for this person with this mm. thing and that stuff and i think that sometimes you do look back at your life and, and say i wish i could have just been a bit more present here mm. or a bit more present there I think mm. balance should just basically be you taking care of the specific areas that are non-negotiables for you mm. like if you know that you need to always prioritize your mental health you need to make sure that you get six hours of sleep at night you need to make sure that you eat breakfast at the breakfast table then that is your list of things that you mm. feel like if i can achieve these five things every single day i have balance then it allows you to tackle anything that comes your way. Like if there's any challenge, any like explosion somewhere, you can put that fire out because you know that, okay, at the end of the day, I get to go home and I'm going to go through this checklist and mm. I'm going to fulfill all these needs and I'm going to be good, mm. you know? So maybe we need to look at balance differently and not necessarily in terms of managing every single thing, but maintaining our non-negotiables in life. Rather. Yeah. yeah. It makes it so much easier. <clears throat> Got it. I, I needed ask. that. <laughs> that was for me. <laughs> I want to ask the ghost on your side. How do you deal with the the pressure with work and how it impacts also the rest of of your life? I just I just deal with it, man. I understand that, like you know, they're just like non negotiables. Mm. Mm. They're just non negotiables, and I just gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. And pressure from your side. Yeah. To be honest, for now, I'm not really feeling the pressure because. <laughs> The people I work with are my friends. They are becoming my best friends, you know what I mean? And my boyfriend is always there to support me and whatever Aww. I need to do, he's just there. <laughs> like, he's just like, ew. Yeah, speak more on that. <laughs> 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 so, like, he, he, he honestly supports me, you know? There's some things where he's like, oh, you're better, man. But, you know, I, I hear where he's coming from. I feel like Okanya is more mature than I am, especially in, like Jay, financially, mentally, Jay, everything. He is much more st- like oh, oh, street. Me na, mama, when you're married, it's your assignment. Since I let it's my 
comment. I get that. You know? So I feel like I need that in my life. You get what I'm saying? And my parents are now starting to understand what I do yeah. because I'm bringing the money. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they're starting to understand what I do, and they're just like, "Oh, did you shoot this? What did you do? Um, what's next? What do you have to do?" You know, they they very understanding. So Jay, everything is going well for me. Like Jay, man, I'm successful because of these people. Right now. You get what I mean? Yeah. Jay, so man, I'm so grateful. I'm really grateful, and yeah. I know he got me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for being a part of today's panel, today's episode. Woo! Really appreciate it. The wisdom and also just sharing your experiences <coughs> really is fire. Let us know in the comment section below how you unpack balance as well. Maybe, maybe you, maybe you have the wisdom for us. Yeah. We'll be looking out for that in the comment section below. But in the meantime, for myself, Dennis and Gango, and today's panel, bye. Bye, bye guys. Awesome. This was nice. That was that was this nice. Was nice. That's a very mature episode. Actually. Yeah, it's a very mature. This is my okay.